everybody. Welcome back today. We have the hedge cutter on as you can see. Uh, we're on day number four. So I've had three great days hedge cutting. I suppose I've done about five to six hours each day and um, got all the work done through the fields. I didn't film that because it was my first time ever using the hedge cutter. And then those of you who have ever used a hedge cutter before you know that you kind of have to concentrate on what you're doing. So it wouldn't have meant for good footage. Probably would have been funny footage if it had been the first time ever um, breaking it <laughs> but uh, I didn't break it I didn't break anything I'm actually amazed that uh, everything went so smoothly I can hard believe even listening to that myself uh, no issues at all but I didn't um, I never caught any wire um, and mind you I was cutting every every bit of my land is fenced with three four row of barbed wire so and I was only an inch or two above the tops of the barbed wire but I'm amazed at how actually when you get used to it you can control it. I'm loving this machine, it's as smooth as can be, there's no vibrations whatsoever and it's cutting really well. I replaced about five flails the day we got it. I didn't break them, they were just worn and I got flails with it. Um, so I replaced them and tightened everything up. Every morning I go out before I start, I give it a quick grease and just give it a quick check over. Uh, one thing I have to get working correctly on it is the spring on the back of the PA93s. It's a breakaway spring. And I think mine has a slight little twist in it. Um, because when you extend the arm out, you should be fit to drive forward. Uh, it might take a little bit of force, but you should be able to drive forward. It should go back into the transport mode. And that way the head, as you can see here, can tuck in behind the tractor much, much more than it is now at the moment. But mine's having a lot of trouble going back. It does go back, but it's taking far too much force. So um, that's something I'll have to get looked at. Now, for the work I'm doing, it's not a problem because I'm only going a quarter of a mile over a real quiet road here, nobody on it, so it's not an issue. I'm going through the field, it's not an issue either. Like, so it's, but it's something I'm going to get fixed. I'm going to figure out, take that spring off, and figure out should that bend be in it because I've seen other videos of people using them and I've seen pictures that people have sent me uh, privately on, on um, Instagram and theirs looks to be straight. So I have the drone with me. I don't know if I'll get it up. It's very windy at the minute. It's looking like it's going to rain. And um, that's another thing we were, I took a gap there for about four days with no trimming because it rained quite heavy and I didn't bother going out in the rain to actually get covered and stuff. So I'm going to start hedge cutting here now. And there it has the lights. Just getting off the tractor here now. So I didn't feel a minting off me cutting the road. To be honest with you, I'm still a rookie at this and been out in the road. I just had to keep a little bit, bit more of an eye on what I was doing um, because cars do come and go and you just have to be careful. So um, a wee bit awkward as well because the road's quite tight, but got it cut lovely and neatly. Um, I'm able to go in on the field side and get the whole hedges cut as well. But what I'll do is get the drone up now because um, I'm in the, one of the silage fields here and it hasn't been trimmed back in a long long time I've already as you can see 
trimmed quite a lot of it back and um, it's hard to pick out because uh, GoPro has no zoom but I have a long distance done down there we're just up as far as here now I have to go down about halfway I suppose I'm about halfway done another hour and a half two hours will finish when I'm at here and that's hedge cutting finished yesterday evening um, I've done about five hours I went home and my brother wanted a landy hedge of his cut um, that's not an easy job but it took me time got it lovely and even as well got the hedges cut around his own home house as well um, all cleaned up so we got an awful lot of hedges cut the whole farm I have to say it never looked as well because we never got all our hedges cut like this before we'd always just maybe get about three quarters of it done and then we'd always end up with fields that we can't get done because they get too wet but this year because the weather was okay and I have my own hedge cutter I was fit to go in whenever I liked and I got it all done relatively quickly. It took up maybe five, six hours of each day, um, but I didn't mind. It's actually a nice job to sit up, listen to the radio and just walk away. So I was happy as Larry at that. The hedge cutter is walking super. It's absolutely super. Um, I know the sun's kind of probably going straight on the camera there at the minute, but it's working great. I haven't had a single issue. I haven't had a stop once. Never broke a flail. Everything seems quite good. I'm just taking my time and being careful. Paint's starting to come off here and there now, but it's a hard wearing paint. It's not just coming off uh, with any little scratch. It's taking a right hole run of something to take any paint off. Look it, it's a hedge cutter. I don't mind. I know mechanically now it's sound. There is pipes there that's gonna have to be replaced probably next year, as you can see here. Are a bit worn. So I'm gonna get my magnet mount. I'll hook it up in a few places here on the hedge cutter to give you kind of an idea of it working. Just to show you as many different angles as possible when I'm doing it. I'll stick the drone up in the air over here and hopefully it'll not rain because we've had some hard downpours here in the last um, hour when I've been working. Hence the reason the field has got not messy, it's just a bit clatty. Um, we're not making a mess, it might look like it's, it's messy here but that's just on the surface. We're not digging into the ground, it's just that it poured here, it absolutely poured here about a half an hour ago, about 15 minutes of it. But that's just the kind of weather we're having at the minute. Look at Al Soldier on into it here, stick this drone up. You get a bit of footage and we'll pick you up then shortly after. Drone in my hand, but when it's windy, 
with the sensors. The sensors kind of push it away from your hand at times, but you can get it down, but you have to be really, really careful if it's windy because it can just drop and it will literally cut the fingers off you. I had a little bit of a landing platform. You've probably seen the drone footage, a little orange landing, drone landing platform. And that's grand, but you could do it being actually being a lot bigger. Um, but getting it on it, I tried it several times to land, but if you land on the grass, what happens is it can damage the motors if the propellers hit. Probably not, grass wouldn't really break the propellers, but it'd damage the motors. So uh, luckily we got it landed, but I wouldn't like to be doing it again. It's just way too windy. But it seems to be a nice day now, it's all cleared up. Tomorrow morning, we will have the results of our TV test. So if any of you want to know how our TV test went, you will find out on Instagram. So you want to go over there on Instagram and look now, because this is Friday. This video will be posted hopefully on Sunday. And um, we'll have already posted up probably what uh, our results of our TV test was. So for now, the job is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much everybody for watching. If you want to know anything about the equipment we use, the mounts and things we put onto the hedge cutter and different, different things just to get different perspectives and views, I have any amount of them. So if you want to know anything about them, just private message me. I can put a link onto the video. I'll put a link onto all the bits and pieces that I used um, on this video. But I made a magnet mount um, that kind of can magnet itself to anything you put it on. It's very, very handy. And it's actually one I made myself. It only cost a few euros to make. And it's a brilliant bit of kit. I can show you how to, how to make that maybe in an upcoming video. I am intending to do a video. I know a lot of people don't really tend to be that overly interested in, not the farming community anyway. Um, but I'm still going to make a video on all the equipment that I have and that I use. I'm going to be making a video that's going to um, entail how to make YouTube videos. A very simple, simple version of how to make YouTube videos because loads and loads of young people do contact me and be asking me about the equipment to use and how do you go about making, getting your own YouTube channel and things like that. So I'm going to make a wee video on that very soon and just give you a basic breakdown on how to kind of set up your own channel and how to get your first videos up and how to get it uploaded and a little bit of editing and things like that because it's a bit of fun and loads of people can get involved when you get into it like myself now jerry6420 and farmer phil and the likes it becomes a lot more work so don't think that these videos goes up and it's anything's easy about it because it's a lot of work putting these videos together and editing and everything but it's good fun getting people's reactions i love to get reactions um everybody has different ways of doing things the way they do things and I've adapted a lot of stuff on the farms that I've learned through comments that I've got on YouTube. So I'm always listening and I'm always open to different things. So there'll be links in the description of the equipment that I've used, my GoPros, drones, and the bits and pieces that I've used to put this video together. All you have to do is click on the link, bring you to an Amazon store. You're not compelled to buy anything. It'll just show you what it is, show you the price of it, and then you can decide yourself um, what you want to do. Um, it won't cost you any anything at all more, but I will get a little bit of a small and tiny little bit of commission on each purchase you make. So if you want to purchase, you're thinking of purchase something, maybe go in there, help the channel by doing it in that way. Amazon is 100% safe. It's where I buy all my stuff this last while. I've never had anything but good results from anything I've bought from Amazon. You know, you have that little bit more of a guarantee of what you get. Anyway, folks, till the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that sub button, give us a like, comment in the comment section below. We'll do our best to get back to them all. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, as the usual stuff. I'll leave you now with a bit of drone footage of all the hedges that I've cut here on the out farm, maybe a few at home as well, just so you can have a quick look and pass your judgment on it. Until the next one, thanks for watching.